Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal from Bagger de Crochet where we talk about everything that is yarn and crochet related. So if you like that type of thing, please subscribe. So today I'm going to be doing a uh, crochet tutorial for you. So I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful baby blanket and it is rather easy to do. So my table is not real large, but we'll go ahead and give it a look. So it's made with the star stitch there and the star stitch is not hard to do and it's a very very pretty stitch it works well as you can see this, with this variegated yarn that i'm using you don't have to use variegated it would look well in a solid striped ombre anything like that and then um it's bordered with a nice uh this is one of my favorite borders actually for a blanket i use it quite a bit but i try not to use it too much but it is it is probably my favorite favorite border for a blanket it's a nice uh, ribbed edging that we were it's worked uh, after the blankets made um, it's worked vertical instead of a uh, horizontal like the rows are so we just work back and forth this way you may you've seen it on my other blankets before but it is very very beautiful so why don't we go ahead and talk about the yarn that I use and the size that this blanket is and things like that I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the side real quick all right now the size of that particular baby blanket is 34 by 34 wide by 46 tall and that is including the border now you can make it bigger or smaller because i'll give you the multiple of the stitch so you can adjust the size if you'd like so that variegated yarn that you see is from ice yarns it is this one right here and it's 100 percent acrylic now they they classified it as a two-way it's not it's like a three-way yarn so this blanket's made with the three weight you know you can you can use a four weight if you want that would be fine you know um and chain it to the size you want but this is the three weight. Now there are 360 meters, so close to 400 yards uh, per ball. And it took about almost six balls, about five and three quarter balls at 400 yards a ball. It's because it's the three weight, you know, it's going to take a little bit more yarn. Now remember, you don't have to use this yarn. Any three weight yarn will work. And you can even use a four weight. It'll just make, if you follow along with me, it's just going to make a bigger, bigger blanket. But this is what the, the base of it was made out of, the main portion of it. And then the border was made out of Mary Maxim's Mellow Spun DK. This is the solid white color. So um, DK is the three weight. And it took, um, what's the yardage on this? I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's look here. 284 yards. So it took just a little bit more than one ball. So you'll probably, you know, like 300 yards probably for the border. All right. And then we are going to be using a size H, which is a five millimeter crochet hook. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off. I'm using a different yarn and a little bit bigger of a hook. I'm using a four-weight yarn for because it would be easier to see than this uh, rainbow yarn, just for the tutorial purposes. So we're going to start on the, uh, the multicolored, the big part of the blanket that you saw, the star stitch. Now, the star stitch is done in any even number of stitches. Now, if you're following along with me with the three-weight and you want it to be about the si same size as mine approximately, you want to start off with a chain of 170 stitches, 170. And then once you get your chain of 170, or if you're making it different, any even number, we're going to start row one by doing a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook. And then we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of our chain. Just like this. So 
So row one is one single crochet in every stitch until you make it to the end of the row. All right, so I made it to the end of row one. Following along with me, you should have 169 stitches. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start row two by chaining three and turning our work. Now we're gonna work into this chain three here to do our first star. And we're gonna go into the second stitch of the chain three. We're gonna go into it and just draw up a loop like that. And then we're gonna go into the last stitch of this chain three and draw up a loop. And now we're gonna go working on the main, our main chain here of row one here. And uh, we're going to go into the first, very first stitch, draw up a loop. We're gonna go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. And then the next stitch and draw up a loop. And you should have a six loops on your hook and you want to yarn over and go through all six loops on your hook. Give it a little bit of a tug and chain one. So that creates the first star on the side. Now we're gonna go ahead and start the repeat of row two. And this is how our stars are gonna be made from now on. So we're gonna go into the eye of this star that we just made right here. It's, it's actually the chain one that we just did. We're going to go into it, or I call it the eye of the star, go into it and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the last leg of the star that we just made, the side of the last leg. So you can see it right here, just kind of go right into that and draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the same stitch that we ended our last star in and draw up a loop. And then we're gonna go into the next stitch and draw up a loop and the next stitch and draw up a loop. And again, you should have six loops on your hook. We're gonna yarn over and go through all six. You can give it a little tuck and we're gonna chain one. There we go. And that's how the stars are gonna be made uh, for this pattern. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna go through the eye of the star that we just made and draw up a loop. And then we're gonna go into the loop of the last leg of the star. Sometimes it can get a little tight. You gotta do a little wiggle to get it through it. And draw up a loop. And then we're gonna go into the same stitch here that, our la that we did, worked our last part of our last star in. And draw up a loop. And then we're gonna go into the next stitch drop a loop and the next stitch drop a loop six loops on your hook yarn over and go through all six of those loops and chain one and there's another star all right let's do it again so we're going to go into the eye of the star drop a loop and then we're going to go into the side of the last leg of the star that we just made I'm actually only going through one loop there if you look. And then I'm going to draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the same stitch as the last stitch of our previous star. Draw up a loop. And then we're going to go into the next stitch, draw up a loop. And then the next stitch and draw up a loop. Six loops are on our hook. We're gonna yarn over and go through all six loops. And chain one. And this is a pattern that we are going to repeat all the way until we get near the end of the row. And that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so I'm coming to the end of row two and I just finished a star and it appears here that we have two stitches left, but actually we're gonna work this chain turn chain here on the end and we're going to count that as a stitch as well so we're going to be going into that so let's go ahead and work one more star so we're going to go in to the eye of the last star and then the leg of the, the side of the leg of the last star and then the same stitch as the last star 
and then the next stitch and the next one that six loops there yarn over and go through all six chain one and then we're going to use this little last uh, turn chain here and we're going to put a half a double crochet into that turn chain and that will end row two so now we're going to start row three which is very easy so we are going to chain one and turn our work so we're going to be working a row of single crochet across so when we start the row um the row three and every time we repeat it we're working in the first single crochet into this half double and the half double is a little weird so it's the top up it's actually right here so we're going to go into that it's kind of hanging off to the side and single crochet and then in the eye of the next star so right here we're going to put one single crochet into the eye of that star now we're going to re we're going to start the repeat of row three and we're going to work two single crochets into the eye of every star so if you look you can see so only this first one here gets one now we're going to work two in each of the eyes of the star until we get to the last star of a row here so just look closely you find the eye of the star and you work two single crochets into it up to the next one and I'm going to repeat this pattern of two single crochets in the eye of every star and I will meet back up with you at the last star stitch so this is the back of our work right now all right so I'm coming to the end of row three and I put two single crochets in the eye of my last star and we want to end by putting a single crochet here into the top of this last stitch so we don't want to go into this uh, gaping hole here right here or you're gonna have it's gonna be uneven we want to go kind of um, in that chain that we made so right into it uh, the chain on the side of it if you can get it and we single crochet one time like that and that'll end row three so now we're just going to keep repeating rows two and three so again for row four we're just going to repeat row two and that was a chain of three this is our star stitch row and turn our work and here you can see this is the front of the stars aren't those pretty i really like the star stitch and it's so easy once you get the hang of it so again we did our chain three and we're going to do make our first star is we draw up a loop in the second chain from our hook and then we draw up a loop in the last chain there and then we draw up a loop in the first stitch here of the row and then we draw up a loop in the next stitch and in the next stitch and we should have six loops on our hook yarn over and go through all six chain one and that is how our first star is made every row now again we're going to start doing the repeat now so we're going to go into the eye of the star that we just made and draw up a loop and then into that one loop of the last leg of the star we just made and then down here into the same stitch as our last star and then into the next stitch we draw up a loop and the next one after that we draw up a loop six loops on our hook we yarn over and go through all six and chain one so we're just repeating row two the star stitch row into the eye draw up a loop into the last leg of the star draw up a loop into the same stitch as the last star draw up a loop and then draw up a loop in the next stitch 
and then draw up a loop in the next stitch. Six loops on our hook, yarn over and go through all six, and chain one. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this pattern again until we get to the end of the row. Remember, we're just repeating row two. All right, I'm coming to the end of row four, which is just a repeat of row two. And then again, it appears like we only have two stitches left, but we are, we're always going to work in this turn chain here. That's always going to count as a stitch for us. It helps keep the side straighter by doing, doing it that way. So let's go ahead and make our last star going into the eye of the star, the loop, the last leg of the star, the same stitch as the last star, and then into the next two stitches. Oops, not the turn chain. The stitch, the stitch. It's a little finicky on the ends, but we'll get it. And you got six loops, yarn over and go through all six, chain one, and then we're going to half double crochet into this turn chain. Now I know maybe a lot of people do not make the star stitch this way. Some do, some maybe not, but it just makes uh, straighter edges that way by going into that turn chain. So that is the end of row four. So remember that was a repeat of row three. So we'll go ahead and do row five, which is going to be a repeat of, I'm sorry, We just finished row four, which is a repeat of row two. And now we're gonna do row five, which is just a repeat of row three. So it's a single crochet row. So we're gonna chain one and turn. Now remember, it's a little weird here too at the beginning. We're gonna go into this half double, but you know, they're always odd. So it's kind of hanging off here to the side. Go into the top of that stitch and single crochet. And then we're going to do one single crochet into the eye of the first star. Just one. That's the only one that gets one single crochet. Now we're going to work along and we're going to put two single crochets into the eye of every star until we make it to the end of the, to our last star. And that's where I'll meet back up with you. So remember we're just repeating row three and we're on the back side of our work. So I will meet back up with you at the last star. Two singles in the eye of every star. All right, so I've made it to the end of row five, which is a, end of, is a repeat of row three. And we wanna go into the churn chain. You can go into the spot here if it's just easier for you in single crochet. that it's not really going to make too much of a difference but to keep a cleaner edge i always try to go into the chain on the end like that so now we will just repeat chain three turn our work to the front side there it is and we will just keep repeating rows two and three the star stitch row the single crochet row the star stitch row the single single crochet row now, if you're following along with me, you'll want to repeat rows two and three until you get a 157 rows. You should end in a single crochet row, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you on a smaller scale here, is we're gonna start the border. Once you get it as tall as you want it to be, it doesn't have to be as tall as mine, however tall you want it and you ended on that single crochet row. What we're gonna do now is we are gonna clean up the edges of our piece of crochet with single crochet all the way around it. By doing that, it gives us a nice layout to be able to put a nice clean border on it. So we're gonna use the same color yarn that we use for the main part of our blanket. And what we're gonna do is we are going to evenly, I'm gonna chain one at the end of our last single crochet of our last row. And I'm gonna evenly space out single crochets down the sides. Now there is no certain number of single crochets that you have to have. Any amount will work for this border, but just try to make them an, as even as possible so it doesn't get too bunched up or too, too bunched up means you have too many single crochets 
like if it's too or too wavy, it's too many single crochets, and if it gets bunched up, it's not enough. So, and then once you get to the corner down here, we're going to put three single crochets in each of the four corners. So I'm at the bottom here, and I'm going to go ahead and work three single crochets. One, two. And then there's three and then I'm going to continue along the bottom and you'll be able to see these stitches a little bit better working one single crochet in every stitch across the bottom of the work until I make it to my next corner Alright, and then when you make it to your next corner, you want to go ahead and put three single crochets into that corner. There's one, two, and three. And then again, you want to evenly space out some single crochets up your side. Remember, it, there's no certain number that you need, but you need to kind of evenly space them out the best that you can. That's all you can do, just do the best that you can until you get to your next corner up here. Some of these chains are hard to go into on the side. Alright, when you make it to your next corner up here, uh, go ahead and put three single crochets into that corner. There's one, two, three and now we're going to be working across the top putting one single crochet in every stitch until we make it to the last stitch so basically we just worked uh, evenly spaced out our one single crochet all the way around our blanket and we put three single crochets in each of the corners All right, and then when you make it to the last stitch here, put three single crochets into that stitch. One, two, and three. And then we are going to end by slip stitching into the first stitch, the first single crochet we put on the side. Now remember, there is no particular number of stitches you have to have here. Um, it's going to work with any amount of stitches. That's the beauty of that uh, border. That's why I like it so much. You don't, have to, you don't have to keep track of the stitches that you put around. So go ahead and tie that off. And then you want to get the color that you want to use for your border. So for my big piece, I used white, as you can see. But you use any color that you wish. Now I'm going to uh, be using, show you a clip of where I show how to put the border this this border on it's going to be with a different color yarn in a different piece of material but it's it's the exact same border right here um, but make sure when you do that your work is facing right side up where the star you start your work the border where your stars are right side up so here's the back you can see you can't see the stars well and then when you flip it around you see the stars really good and this is the side that you want to start your beautiful ribbed border on so the clip that you're about to see i'm going to, going to be using it's going to be on it's not going to be on this it's going to be on a different uh yarn and it's going to be a different color for the border but you just do it just the same all around your piece with whatever color you chose for your border so we're going to start in the stitch after the three single crochets we put in the corner so in the one that we just slip stitched into that's where we're going to start all right so i switched colors so you can see remember the one right after the three single crochets that we just did so it's the one we slip stitched into and we are going to do a chain of nine one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Now we're going to single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then we're going to single crochet in each of the remaining seven stitches. So counting that single crochet that we did in the second stitch and the seven that we just did, we should have a total of eight single crochets. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. So this one right here, we're going to go into it and slip stitch. And then we're going to go into the next one and slip stitch just like that. Now we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we're going to work back up this chain here. But we're all, from now on, we're just going to be working in the back loops only. So you see that the stitch has two loops. The one closest to you is a front loop, and the one furthest away is the back loop. So we're going to put one single crochet in each of the next eight stitches. So starting with this one right here, back loop only, go right into the back loop and single crochet eight times. There's one in each stitch. So there's one, go to the next one. There's two, the next one, three, the next one, four, the next one, five, the next one, six, the next one, seven, and then the last one back loop makes eight. Just like that. Then we're going to chain one and turn, and we're going to work back down, working in the back loop only. We're going to back single crochet in the next eight stitches starting with this very first one here so back loop only for the very first one there's one all the way down back loop single crochet two and you'll have eight when you get to the bottom three four five six, seven, and there is eight, and that is just a chain one, so that doesn't get worked into, and again, we're going to repeat by slip stitching into the next two stitches. The next, not this one, because we already worked this one, but the next one, we're going to slip stitch, and again, one more time, we are going to slip stitch chain one and we're going to repeat this so one single crochet back loop only into the next eight stitches of the chain so we don't do the chain one down here remember starting with this first single crochet back loop only single crochet all the way up back loop one in each stitch and you should have a total of eight every time And then you chain one and turn and you work back down one single crochet in the back loop only starting with this very first one here go into it back loop single crochet and work down single crochet in the back loop only and you should have eight when you make it back down
like that. That's our chain one, so we don't go into it. And we're going to repeat it again. We're going to slip stitch into the next two stitches. There's one. And two. Chain one. And repeat the same thing. Now we're going to re keep repeating this all the way until we get to the corner. Those three single crochets that are in the corner. And that's where I'll meet back up with you. And I'll show you how to go around the corners with this stitch. Remember, you're going to have eight stitches going up, eight stitches going down, and it's always working in the back loops. See that? It's giving that nice ribbed edging. And that's what we like. So I'm going to continue this, and I'll meet back up with you when I get to those three stitches in the corner. All right. So I've made it down and I have, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next two stitches. And now the second one is the first stitch of my group of three. Like that. So now we're going to work these three corners. We're going to work them just a little bit different. The same, but we're just going to kind of do it twice in each stitch, if that makes sense. We'll go ahead and chain one and turn. Um, and we're going to go back up this stitch, up this like we normally do, back loops only. Chain one and turn. back down it like normal back loop only you still should have your eight stitches each time all right now remember we're on the first stitch of our uh, three now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch back into that very first stitch of our three single crochets in the corner. We're just going to do that one time like that. We're going to chain one and go back up again. So we're actually just doing it twice in each of these three. That's going to help round out the corner. So we're going to do the same thing. One single crochet back loop only in every stitch. Just like this and you'll still have your eight. You'll always have your eight. Chain one and back down, just like we normally do. So that was two times we went in that first single crochet of that group of three. And now here is the second single crochet of the group of three in the corner. So we're just going to slip stitch into that one time, chain one and turn and go back up like we always do, back loop only. Chain one and turn, go back down, back loop only. This ribbing is actually very easy. Once you get the hang of it, you'll really you'll be speeding right through it. There's eight, and now we're going to slip stitch into the same stitch again. That same that we're on the second single crochet of our group of three, go back in that same spot, 
and slip stitch, chain one, and we're gonna go back up it again. So the only difference is here is we're putting two of these rows in each of those three stitches on a corner. Like I said, that's gonna help round out the corner so it lays flat. So this is the second one for the second stitch in the corner, chain one turn, go back down it, same as always, a back loop only. Okay, we did twice into that one. Now we have one more stitch left in our group of three. So we're gonna slip stitch into that one and we're gonna do the same. We're gonna chain one and go back up. Back loop only, you'll have eight stitches. Chain one turn, go back down, same as always, back loop only. So that was one time we worked in that last stitch of our group of three. We need to do it again. So slip stitch in the same spot, chain one, and go back up it again, just like normal. Working in the back loops. Chain one, go back down. And then when we get down to the bottom, that will finish out this corner. And we can go back to what we were doing normally along the side. So that finished out those three corners. So now we can go ahead and start like we were doing. Slip stitch into the next two stitches. So slip stitch, slip stitch, chain one, and work back up. Remember, you always have your eight going up and your eight going down. Always working in the back loops. And we're going to do this all the way across the bottom. And then when we get to the next corner, we'll do it the same as we just did this, just did this corner. It's kind of just working it twice in each of those three stitches. Repeat this all the way around what we've been doing until we get back to our starting point. Again, slip stitch into the next two stitches because we're not at a corner anymore. So just working it like this. Chain one and turn and go back up. So you can see how we went around a corner made it where the corner is going to lay nice and flat now. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. Um, when you get to your next corner over here, you do it the same exact same as you did this corner. And then when you go up the side, you do it the exact same way that we're doing the sides here, the bottom and the sides. And the next corner is the same as this corner. And I'll meet back up with you. Uh, the next corner, the last corner, you do it the same. I'll meet back up with you after we finish our last corner and I'll show you how to seam it together at the end. 
All right, so I've made it all the way to the end here. So what you want to do is just go ahead and tie this off. Actually, just go ahead and once you make it to your last stitch and you did your two rounds through that last of the three single crochets, uh, clip your yarn, uh, leave a tail here so we can do some sewing. Just pull it through like that and then get your yarn needle out and we're just going to sew it to the beginning. So with our yarn tail here. Just take it and kind of just start at the bottom where you left off and pull it tight here and neatly sew it up the best that you can. Matching the stitches up. If you want to just go through that uh, one loop there, that'll give you that back loop. Uh, kind of make it look like it's going through the back loop. Just sewing through the back loop. And then go through the next stitch over here. Maybe we're just using the tail that I had left over. You can sew it together a different way if you prefer, but as long as it gets sewed, sewn up, it's fine. And that's how we do it. Mine isn't looking that good. Yeah, just do your best to make it look good. <laughs> you can also slip stitch it together if you prefer that. Once you make it to the top here, like that and she's all sewn up you can go ahead and hide this tail on the back of your work all right once you finish with your border you got a gorgeous blanket and remember no matter what color you choose it's going to be so pretty like i said it's the border that really makes this blanket. Well, for me, because like I said, this is one of my favorite borders to use. It's so easy. And if you make this, I'd really love to see a picture of it. So you can always post a picture. I'd love to see what yarn you use and what color of border you chose to go with it. You know, you can mix and match colors. I just went with the white with this rainbow color. But, you know, I'm really super interested to see what you guys choose. So show me a picture on my Bag of Day Curve crochet facebook page or you can show me on instagram there's links to the, both of those below in the description box now if you make uh anything else uh you can show me there as well whatever you know things that you make from my videos or that you've learned from my stitches i like to see everybody's work and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more and if you look down below the very first link of this uh in the description box will take you to over a thousand crochet tutorials you know they're always there and they are all free for you to enjoy so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button leave me a comment below and i'll see you on my next video thanks everybody for watching bye bye